Hello and welcome to Bow Beats. So today I wanted to show you something different. I want to show you and talk about how I organize my files on my computer when it comes to music making. You see, I'm not inherently a very organized person. I'm more of the sort of organized chaos kind of person. So therefore I've spent a lot of time thinking and developing a system that works for me and my workflow. So this isn't a perfect system, but I think you will find it very interesting. So here we are at the desktop. And as you can see, there's a lot of folders on the desktop. I wouldn't recommend this. The folders are there because I haven't gotten around to making a good system when it comes to movie and film producing. But I will take you through how I've done it when it comes to music production. When we go into the hard drive, you can see here that I have my Dropbox folder. You see, I have everything synced to Dropbox. So if I go into my iMac folder, that's the top level folder in Dropbox. In the iMac folder, I have different folders for different things. So for example, I have Cubase uh, Elements projects, older projects that I don't work on anymore. I have Cubase projects, I have documents, my own music, song ideas, machine projects, complete instruments, machine kits, reactor ensembles, Nuendo projects and so on. The Nuendo projects are older projects when I used Nuendo back in the days. I also have samples and my sample library. So let's go into the Cubase project folder and let me show you how I've set it up. So as you can see here, we're in the Cubase project folder. Here we find that every project has its own folder. So what I've done is I've arranged the folders according to date, but more so inside of the folders, I have the date name on the project as well, so that it's easy to search for a date. But now you might imagine, well, how do you know what date to search for if you want to search for a song? Well, here's the kicker. I always save audio demos inside of the folder as well. And I usually keep a iTunes library or iTunes folder where I put the demos so I can listen through them very fast and then when I find something that's older but more interesting or interesting to work on or something I want to, to develop, I just search or look, go through the folder looking for that date. So the demo date corresponds to the folder date and in the folder is the project which is also dated the same. So that's basically the logic here. They have all these folders, each one based on the date it was conceived and also, sometimes, here you can see I wrote Rasmus, Rasmus is a friend, because sometimes I meet up with a friend, I, we do a project, and usually uh, that's not a common occurrence, and then I name the folder as well after the person I've been working with, because it's much easier to find it that way. The reason why I need this kind of setup is because, as you can see, I have a lot of different projects here. And the same goes for my machine project as well, they're also uh, ordered in different folders for each project ordered by date because otherwise I won't be able to find the things I'm looking for or I will simply forget about the song uh, since I don't have a demo of it uh, and never go back to it. But because I ordered it by date and also ordered the demos by date it's very easy to go from a demo back to the original project. Another benefit of having different folders for project is that the stuff, for example the samples or the uh, different project files or maybe vocal uh, vocals like um, not only audio recorded vocals but maybe the lyrics of a song could be put in the same folder so it's very easy to backtrack to go back to older projects and this was something I found very irritating when I had different systems or for example when I used a naming scheme instead where I named a, f a folder something that I thought I would remember but so essentially using dates is very good because you also often have a rough idea of when you did something. So if I were to recommend any system, I would recommend that you use different folders for each project. Name the project folder by date, year, month, and day. Maybe use some other phrase as well if there's something you want to make known about the project. For example, if it's the BPM, you can use the BPM. I often use that when it comes to machine projects. 
um, to differentiate between, for example, trance or house music and hip hop. So it's faster for me to, okay, this is a 80 BPM song. Yeah, it's probably a hip hop beat. And always save a demo and use the same naming scheme even there. So it's easy to backtrack because backtracking is all it's about. During a creative week, I may make say 10 song ideas and then a year later, I need to backtrack. And if I one year later want to backtrack, I want it to go smoothly. So this is Bow Beats, and this was a video about how I organize my folders. I would like to hear about how you do it. So like the video, comment down below with your suggestions, and I hope you have a pleasant day. Thank you.